Ooh, sounds serious. Oh, give me a break. They bring parents in for everything around here. I'll catch you guys later, all right? All right. All right. Bye. So, what movie do you want to see? Oh, Pat and Neil's Amazing Adventure is supposed to be excellent. Here comes Joey now. I heard the... Oh, what are you doing out here? I told you to wait in there. I just arrived. Mom. <laughs> Joey, I am your mother. Don't be embarrassed. What do you think they'll say? Well, I'm, I'm sure it's nothing that a little hard work won't fix. I'm already working hard. Well, maybe you'll just have to work a little harder. This is Jeremiah. Hello. Hello. We can go right in. Dr. Bruce is ready for us. Attention. A reminder that the disarmament committee is now meeting in room 124. All those interested, please attend. I'm pleased to say we've discovered why Joey is having problems with some of his classes. It appears you have what's called dysgraphia. Dis... what? Dysgraphia. It's like a small part of your brain short circuits. Even though you can speak well and have lots of ideas and thoughts, your brain doesn't instruct your hands to write them down properly. So you mean I'm stupid, oh, right? Joey. No, quite the opposite. It's clear from your tests you're a very bright young man who happens to have a learning disability. It's nothing to be ashamed of. So what do we do about it? We recommend putting Joey into a special class. It'll be for only one period a day. The rest of the time he will attend regular classes. You know, I don't understand why no one has noticed this before. Detecting this in grade nine isn't that unusual. Over the years, Joey's developed ways to compensate. However, in high school, it gets tougher. There's less structure, more freedom, a lot less direction in the lessons. Is there anything my husband and I can do? Like getting him a tutor? We're prepared to do anything. Caitlin! Did you study for the science test? No. Can't stop thinking about this court case. Man, Webster's class is such a bore. <laughs> Tell me about it. I want to sleep in there. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> How can you study with your locker like that? I don't. Uh, I'm never going to pass this dumb test. Yeah, I tried to fix sick this morning, but uh, I left the thermometer on the radiator too long. <laughs> <laughs> that was dumb. Yeah, well, I'm going to fail for sure. My parents are going to kill me again. They won't be as mad as my dad. How much would it be worth to you to have guaranteed success on this test? A lot. Why? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hey, don't worry, man. We've got it made. What are you doing here? Don't you have a class? I'm not going to class anymore. What are you talking about? I found out yesterday that they want to put me in special ed. Really? Uh, that's too bad. But, uh, hey, have you seen the teacher? Oh, what a babe. I'm, I'm thinking of transferring you to special ed myself. That's not funny. If I'm so dumb, what's the point of me staying here? I'm quitting. What are you going to do instead? Get a job. I've got my license. I can, I can deliver pizza for my Uncle Tony. He said I can come work for him any time. Oh, great future. You're better off here. Forget it. 
I'm quitting. This is the last day I'm ever going to be in this crummy place. Right, Joey. Yeah, we believe you. I mean it. Good luck. <laughs> I have a strange feeling we're going to do really well today. Yes. All right. <laughs> oh, no. Wait. I just had a thought. What if it's not the same test this time? Everyone take their seats, please. I don't want anything on the bench except for a pen or pencil. Don't turn over the papers until I give the signal. And begin. Dumb little niner. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Leave me alone. What's wrong? No sense of humor? Your little friends thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> watch it! No, you watch it, you stupid jerk. You ignorant cockroach. Party's over. Back in class. Why not? I asked my parents and they said no way could I miss school. If the trial was after school or, or on a weekend. Why did you ask your parents? I just did. You knew they'd say no. That's why you told them, isn't it? But the security guard is there. What if he recognizes me? My parents aren't liberal like yours. They'd probably throw me out, don't you see? Did you happen to mention that it was your idea to vandalize the factory? Hey, Caitlin, come on. Did you even mention that you were there? That you ran when you could have helped me? Calm down. Don't touch me. Caitlin. All right. That is quite enough. Now, Ralph, take Claude to have that seen to by the school nurse. Caitlin. Come with me. Until five o'clock. Oh, and Dan, while you're here, do you have a moment? There's some administrative things I'd like to discuss. Find a desk and sit. 